Saddle up, partner. We're going out. Anna isn't a giving dead up. City. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. Damn. It's really interesting how we've used the seasons to kind of track uh, time. Like, we've, we've gone through uh, winter, spring, summer, fall, or spring, summer, fall, now winter. But this is what we're used to. Jeez, look at the ice on the bridge, like. What do you know? We're here. Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. Oh, it will be. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there will be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged, too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and Jeez. still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Oh yeah, we're in the red. Are you ready, Artem? Let's do this. Follow me. Good luck. You can rely on us. <laughs> oh god. Probably hard to walk in these things. Oh, everyone's Still, fully kitted time out. Time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimac! We'll take the Aurora south to the Simirskaya cargo station. Uh, I'm Martin. Stefan. Chris, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something oh, for the Aurora. I no plow? the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we're trying to oh. get there through the metro. Oh, yes. Well, let's, let's go. get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. We don't need luck, boys. Break a leg, my friend. We have love. You will get carried away out there, because I know you. <laughs> If I could turn on my flashlight right now, I would. Are you going out on a mission to save Aunt Anna? That's the plan. Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. <laughs> nice. Will you help me, Teddy? Drive a Teddy mission acknowledged. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. See you later. Don't worry about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. Thank you. Hush, shh. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna's strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. 
Kanina, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. God. This is, um, this is not good. This is not good. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. So Anna soon. Is strong. She will win this fight. Just make sure you come back. I believe that. I believe Good luck, Artyom. Your gear, Colonel Sir. Thank you. I guess we could have done this. Oh no, never mind. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll oh, okay, well. The car. That's what I'm saying. I'm one step ahead of you. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and oh. resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. Okay, thanks. Uh, that's super cool. Now, we said we had more consumables, right? So... We're maxed out there. I'm gonna max out filters. And... Oh yeah, that is maxed. Everything's clean, so we've got the sniping quietly. We've got our go loud defense. And then more sniping, but from further away. Uh, hold on. Bullets-wise, maybe... Something like that. Hopefully we'll find more. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Settle up. Always can see the driver's seat to the father-in-law, rule number one. You keep over, watch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Okay. Good luck, Tito. We are her last hope now. Oh, this is crazy. So these guys are not expecting anybody to be here, but for sure. We're gonna find like there's gonna be mutants or something. No question. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. Might even be worse than what we've seen before based on the levels of radiation too. Alright. Walking here would be easier. We should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. <laughs> We have lights. Nope. There we go. So, how do you find the road to your dream? Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artyom. We can handle this. Why would he even bring that up? Like, I don't know if he's doing that as like uh, I think we can get out through a way there. to make us feel bad. Decent driving there, actually. That's a 
out of cars. The army had the traffic blocked. The town got hit smack in the middle of evacuation. You want me to get out? I can't. We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. <laughs> We'd better use the map here. Great. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. I seem to be driving quite a bit faster than he was. This road should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. It's actually probably good for us. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Yeah, slightly. Find the car, Artie! <laughs> God. Damn. All right, okay. Turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Do you want to turn left? Thanks. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. This is a lot of pressure, actually. Careful, Artyom. Let me go over this. The weather is still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. Turn left. There. Whoa, that whoa! They should take us back to the main road. Oh, it's the tank thing that's blocking us. We'll have to walk from here. Jesus. And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. The filters won't last long. Oh, you don't have one of those uh, extended filter things on your uh, deal? Come on! Let's go! We have to move or we're done for! We're approaching a large intersection! The station entrance should be right past it! Watch out! The snow is deep! Move on! I'm right behind you. This is freaking crazy. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this is a good way down into the metro as any, I suppose.
Oh, we're finally here. Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm, that's what I call a cave -in. Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Uh, up here maybe? Maybe not. Maybe we crawl under? Well, I guess we just die here then. Can we, like, break something? Can we go through this door? Yeah, there we go. To the, the hand. Let's try that carriage. It's still in one piece after all. Oh man, this is terrible. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. That's crazy. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. I was just gonna say, this feels like that very first train that we got into. That we had to like walk through, and we heard the voices and stuff. What do you know? The air is breathable. No way. Oh. He must have saw something there. The straightway is blocked. I got one explosive round. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Hmm. How about through here? Jesus! Oh, well, hello. Holy frick. Are you okay? Good. I'm deaf. That was great. That was great. Frick, man. These guys have been waiting. Probably haven't eaten forever. God damn. These are special. What the hell? Yeah, uh, we're gonna have problems. I mean, I guess. That's a good question. What do they eat? People aren't coming through here very often. Maybe each other? <laughs> I don't suppose we're going to find much ammo down here. Oh. I was wrong. So much dust. Abandon. 
abandoned a long time ago. Look around here, Artyom. You might find something useful. Mikhail, Federal from the Section 20 here. Look, our filters are complete trash. And on Sibirskaya, they were replaced this autumn. Could you let my kids stay at your station? People from their school are there too. I can't teach. The military are in charge here now. They don't let anyone. Jeez. But don't worry. Not even kids. They're going to start handing the radio protector out. <laughs> Am I supposed to give that green shit to my kids? Don't give me that. The green stuff is better than any filters you can get. And they said, don't The green worry. stuff is better than any filters you can get? surviving due to that green stuff that radio protector the military issued and then their stores ran dry but the radiation was still there and that was it yep terrible is there anything else you want me to be looking for in here guess not watch out this way, Pops. Two in such Let's try to get through down there. We could squeeze through here. <laughs> Ugh. Look at these things hanging from the ceiling. Oh. Yeah, hold on. We gotta check this area over here. Come with me this way. Is this just taking us into the bottom of the area we were just at? Yeah, it is. I actually can't walk past there. As he says, there's something in the water. Great. That's great. Oh. Whoa. See that? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. We could get out here. I assume we don't want to follow that thing back into its lab. What the hell? And here are the locals. Holy oh, shit. It reminds one of the execution people in Moscow, doesn't it? 8,000 kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. <laughs> I wonder if they were called spies too. Murderers. Radiogram transcript to OSCOM Rapid Response Group Commander Lieutenant Colonel Klebnikov. You are hereby ordered to deliver the captured riders to the special department and move out to take defensive positions at Sibirskaya Station at once. OSCOM Chairman. These people died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Oh, that would be a freaking surprise. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lucky as always. This isn't our metro. We've nobody to help us here if anything happens. Well, can you help me out of here? You break a leg. You crawl back to the Aurora alone. 
I can't turn back before I find that medicine. That's fair. If they're survivors and they're not full blown psychotics, just watch where you're going from now on. I'll be pretty surprised. That leads to the tunnel. So we're gonna go through there anyway? Is that what you're telling me? Mm, seems solid enough. Oh. Let's go. Don't do stuff like that. It's being all like skittish. Outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war after all. Look at this thing. This feels so familiar to the tunnels that we're used to, honestly. Hmm. They've been defending with these armored trolleys. And when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. Is that the this thing? The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death? Oh. Born <gasps> Miller, I don't know. I can't answer these questions. What? I feel uh, strange. What do you mean? What the hell does that mean? 